All right, guys. So before we even kick this video off, I do want to ask you guys a question and I want you to comment down below your answers in the comment section down below. Now, what would be the biggest disappointment and the most hype scenario for you guys in terms of LF and Ultra for the brand new reveals and stuff? Like, what would you guys like to see and what would be an absolute flop for you guys? I'll be giving you guys my answers in just one bit. Now, we're going to be talking about all the confirmed characters and what we can expect to see and what I would like to see as well. So if you guys do find value in today's video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe because why not? It is for free. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's shut up and get into it. Now, this concept here is by soul free to play um i really like the concept but i do want to touch on a few things on this concept as well so uh just quickly confirming actually let's do this let's just quickly confirm all the new characters that we currently have right or that we know is going to come out and i do think this campaign is going to have a ton a ton of characters okay so uh we are going to get a tag birder and jace this is confirmed actually let me just pull up the images here so this is confirmed tag birder and jace we're also going to get a tag raccoon and goldo okay so the thing with this is that if we're going to get a brand new tag, Goldo, Jace, Raccoon, Birder, all these all these Ginyu Force characters, I think it's safe to assume that we are pretty much confirmed a Ginyu, right? <laughs> it would be weird for these two characters to come out or these four characters to come out and not have the actual captain of the Ginyu Force. So we can expect all five characters. If I had to predict of some sort, uh, maybe, I don't know, you know, it would be kind of weird to have a individual tag goldo and raccoon and an individual tag jason birder i think they should just slap on all these characters on together as one big assist unit whether or not they're the free-to-play character for us to grind right for a brand new summer boot camp which is my early predictions because every single summer we do get an um you know a summer boot camp right and it does revolve around the freezer force for for most of them or i think maybe all of them uh but yeah so captain ginyu i'm assuming is going to come out as well right now, um, I would love, and I've mentioned this before, I would love this for this to be a free-to-play ultra where they're all together. All together, free-to-play ultra. That would be awesome. Or that's just something I would personally like to see, right? So, um, yeah, I, I find it weird for them to just kind of make it a tag of these characters individually. I just I just find it kind of awkward, right? Um, brand new kid Gohan is going to come out, as you guys can see here. Um, I, I, do have, I mean, you guys can see through the image, but... Uh, it's confirmed. We do have a ton of Kid Gohans, right? With like, for example, for the one with the long hair. But we don't necessarily have this one with the bowl cut and dynamic suit. So this is guaranteed new. This is most likely going to be an extreme unit if I had to put my money on it, right? Or what if they come out with a hero unit of this version? As a matter of fact, it's been forever since Dragon Ball Legends came out with a hero unit. I think it's been a good two, three years, give or take actually it's a yeah I've, I've never really thought about yeah i never really thought about that so that's interesting um another character i like to see as a free-to-play character ignore that <laughs> is a transforming zarbon dude i would love we don't have a transforming zarbon so uh or a transformed zarbon right so i would love to see this uh something definitely on my radar because we don't have it anything with anything we don't have i would just like to see right because it's new um now in terms of lfs and ultras um there's a lot of speculation okay guys i think there's three possible scenarios for the big characters okay um i think obviously if we just take a look at any kind of frieza that's that's pretty much a given an ultra frieza is roaming around whether or not we do get an ultra we don't know yet whether or not they're going to skip out there, there's speculation as a matter of fact of people saying that we're actually going to skip out on the lf uh, so they're not going to have an lf and they're going to have an ultra instead um that could be a scenario that's happened before, right? Where, where in a month, we've gotten an Ultra instead of an LF. Uh, just due to the fact that the speculation is roaming around because we just got LF Cell and LF Cell's banner still going around. But that's just obviously speculation. Now, what I would personally like to see is, you know, I've mentioned this before. I would love a Spirit Bomb Goku, but only if it comes out with this mechanic where he charges up a Spirit Bomb and then the Spirit Bomb stays up on the stage and it keeps getting bigger every time you pop a green card and then you could unleash it somehow whether it be your ultimate a unique gauge or green cards so i would love to see a spear bomb goku on top of the stage if it's just a normal spear bomb goku i personally would not like to see that i would much rather just see a rage uh super saiyan goku right so maybe like with a new rage mechanic as a matter of fact there was a leak there was a leak and I, i'll try to find it and i'll try to post it later but there was a rage unique um because you know how like there's a little icon for like cover change 
for uh, defense buffs, you know, sustain damage cut, and all those little individual icons. There was a brand new one. Um, and it was found on the database, I would say like five to six months ago. So it's been a good, good chunk of time. But it was something called hate. I think it's something around that that line, hate or rage or something like that. So maybe a rage Goku transforming rage Goku. Now we already do have the dynamic Goku with the, with the counter, the LF, but he's so old. He came out years ago. Um, I would definitely not mind the new one, right? So um, in terms of a Frieza, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. Look, I would be all for Frieza if we if we didn't get um if we didn't get this Goku and Frieza from Terminator Power. I, I'm kind of sick of Frieza just because of this unit, right? So um, still, I mean, Lineage of Evil, Frieza Force, and stuff like that um, is still gonna get buffed, right? In terms of Frieza Force, the, the Ginyu Force is obviously gonna buff Frieza Force, right? And this tag actually has a solid amount of buffs. I mean, nothing too crazy, right? We have this final form freezer right here, the blue one, which is uh, the revival one, which is actually being very much used right now in the meta. Uh, he's pretty good. And, and as a matter of fact, he's back in the boost system right now for PvP, which is really nice. Um, I would love to see perhaps maybe this LF yellow freezer get a Zenkai. But at this point in time, if we're going to get an ultra freezer, chances are kind of low. Or maybe one of these two to get a Zenkai. I would much, much rather... I uh, get this uh, final form uh, blue freezer just because he's blue, right? And obviously he's yellow. So there's a huge difference of running a blue and a yellow right now in today's matter. You can argue that yellow is the worst color and blue is perhaps the best color or the most used color. So it's like night and day, right? So, but yeah, I mean, honestly, um, a Rage Goku would be awesome to see. Um, I mean, I just, it's probably my, my favorite variation of Goku, the one where he first transforms into Super Saiyan, right? It's such an iconic scene and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I love, I just a quick recap, Birder and Jace, that's confirmed. Raccoon and Goldo, that's confirmed, right? Let me just do this. Um, new Ginyu, I would, I would say it's, it's safe to assume that it's confirmed as well. Okay. Cause we're going to get the rest of the Ginyu. New Kid Gohan, that's confirmed. I would love a transforming Zarbon just because we currently don't have him in the game. Ultra Freeze the Spirit Bomb Goku. That's still to be decided, obviously. Now, in terms of a Zenkai, I still think we're going to get one of these two uh, to get a Zenkai. Um, it's, I, I think they're just saving it to reveal it on reveals and stuff. But we'll have to wait and see. This is all speculation. Uh, but I would absolutely love one of these two to get a Zenkai. On the preview, they did show this Rage uh, Super Saiyan Goku here. You know, for a split second. And then he kind of had like this yellowish background. And he does naturally have a yellow background. I get it. But... Uh, maybe it was a tease who knows right because they did tease stuff on that video a lot of stuff as a matter of fact so yeah guys i am quite excited for this campaign i love the ginyu force i am excited for the ginyu force more than anything honestly um just hopefully they're good and i do think they're gonna be good uh but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up comment down below your biggest uh what would you guys like to see in terms of like the biggest hype unit and your biggest disappointment so uh, with that being said thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and i'll love to catch you guys once again on the next one have a good one. Peace.